Welcome back to my channel. A uh, shout out to uh, a YouTube subscriber called Mr. White Devil. Mr. White Devil sent me a message and uh, he wants to know how to build the last two centers on an 8x8 cube. So I'll skip all the beginning, which I usually do is I do all my whites first. Opposite to whites are the yellows. And then I start building up my other centers. In this case, it's the orange, the green, the red, and the blue. So I'll start with the simple example before hitting the last two. The last two faces will be the blue and the red. Okay. So the principle that I used is the same one the whole way through. There, there is probably an easier and faster way to do it, but this is the simple way, but it still works. So let's start with a simple uh, explanation with only one piece to move. See, all my oranges are there except for one because the last orange is over here. This will demonstrate the technique that I used. Then I will apply that technique to do the reds and the blues to show you that these two are the last layers to be to be done on the 8x8 eight eight cube. So by putting the cube on the table, the, the piece that I'm missing in this example is the top left one. <clears throat> like this. Top left one right there. The green one needs to go on top and the orange one needs to go on the front face. So I got to position my little cubies so that it can work with them. Right now, the top left cubie, the green one over here, is positioned top left on all these rows. I'm not counting the outer edge, of course, just the center pieces. The orange piece that I need needs to be in the same position that I am located right now. So, the left row, the top row, so left and top, green has to leave, orange has to come in. If I go on my top face, it's the same positioning. Left side, top side, because if I put the cube in the same position, it's left and up. So, I need this one to be green, because I want to get rid of it. I need this one to be orange, because that's the piece I need, right? Now the third missing piece in order to complete this algorithm, on your main face, I got to find which one represents this piece here. It could be this one, could be this one, or could be this one. But in this case, it's this one over here. Because I'm going to be using this piece, that piece, and that piece right there. I'll do it slowly and you'll see. I'm going to kick this one out in order to bring it back. By doing so, I'm going to kick this one out and I'm going to be utilizing this little one here. So, I need this one over here to be kicked out. So I'm kicking it out, turning my top piece, the side I want to go, I want to go this one over here, so this way. I'm going to kick the green one out of the way. I'm going to bring it back the way it was. And the piece that I kicked out, I'm going to bring it back in, this one over here. So bringing this one back in. Now I got to bring this row back where it was and back down. I managed to kick the green one out, get the orange over here by utilizing this orange over here. I'll do it again with the blue and the reds because right now, if you take a look at it, the whites are complete, the yellows are complete, the orange are complete, and the greens are complete. But the blues and reds are all messed up, but you use the same technique. Let's start with this one over here, knowing that Opposite side to orange is and always will be red. So I need all my reds over here. That is blue. I got to kick that piece out. So that piece, I need over here a red one. Now I have a red one. So blue, red, and the third missing piece is on the main face. It has to be red also. So blue, red. I'm looking for a red one. The red one is right there. So the algorithm will work to fill that red piece. So up, turn it the side I want to go get that piece, kick it out, I bring it back the way it was, bring it back down, and complete the algorithm. I managed to kick the blue one out, get the red one that was over here by utilizing the red one that was over here. So those three pieces are mandatory. Let's do it again. Turn top row up. 
I need the second one from the left on the top row. I need to kick that blue out. So I need two reds. One over here, which is the same location, and it's right there. And if I take this piece here, right there where the blue is, and I turn it, that will not work. This one needs to be red, right? But look at this. If I turn it, I'm still missing the same piece. Red over here, and now this one is still blue, so that's wrong. Turn it again. I got blue over here, red on top, and I need another red one, which is located right there. Because if I turn the front face, see where the blue is? It is now red, so that is a good piece to go get. So I'm gonna do the same algorithm, same side. This goes up, turn it to the right. I want this one over here, turn it back the way it was, bring that one back down, and finish off the algorithm by bringing the red row back down. The red one is out, the blue's on top because I utilized this one over here. Three missing pieces, not missing, but three pieces that I utilized were moved around. Let's do it again. Let's get this one over here now. It should work now because we've been moving pieces around. Blue over here. I need a red one over here. There it is. And where's the other third piece? Red one goes over here. So the algorithm will work. Bring it up. I'm going down to the right hand side. Bring that row up. Bring it back the way it was. This one goes back down. And then I bring that row back down where it was. I got a red one now. Let's do it again. I got a last one over here, blue. This one has to be red and this one has to be red. So it's gonna work. Up, turn, up, bring it back, down, bring it back, back down. I got four over here. You can do pieces, two pieces at one if you want. I got two blue ones over here that I gotta rid get rid of. I got two red ones over here that I gotta kick out. And what are these pieces over here? This, will that work? Reds, it's gonna work. So let's do two pieces at once. Kick up, we're going on the left side because we want these over here, I mean these over here. Kick those up, bring it back the way it was, bring that row back down and bring back the left side. So I did two pieces at once. Let's try Two blues over here, two reds over here, and the same two pieces, I need two reds to replace these. So is this one gonna work? Yes, it will. We got two red ones over here. So up, I'm going on the right hand side. Up, bring it back. Bring those pieces back down. Uh, sorry. These pieces back down and back down. Let's do it again. I might have made a mistake there. I meant a little too fast. Let's do it again with one piece. It's gonna be easier with one piece. So I need a red over here. I got one over here. And which one is good one? That's not a good one, but that's a good one. So let's do it. Red, red, to the left, up, bring it back, down, bring it back and down. Let's do it again. Top, these two have to leave. These two can replace. I need two reds here if I turn. I got two reds over here, so it's gonna work. At one point you can just eyeball it. You don't have to turn it to verify, but it'll work. And a couple more moves and we'll be done with the last two centers. Blue has to come out, red over here. There is no red over here, so that's not gonna work. But if I go like this, uh, sorry, blue has to come out, red is over here, and red is over here. It will work. Up, turn, up, back, down, turn, back. Let's do it again. Up, turn, and bring it back. And one more time. See, same positioning. Up, turn, red, And we're down to one little red piece. This one has to be kicked out. 
this one's going to take its place and this one's going to replace. That is how you complete your last two centers on that 8x8 cube. If you have any questions, let me know. I think this is pretty clear. 